tools, accessories, and materials. Basically, on a job site, you're going to need some uh, hand hand pruning saws or rip saws, uh, portable power saws, keyhole saw, table saw. Most of the stuff that guys are going to have that are already contractors. Hammer drill for working with concrete, framing squares, obviously for layout, etc. One of the most common tools nowadays tends to be a laser. Uh, a lot of stuff is done with laser levels to make sure that we're starting from plumb and straight walls. Um, chalk lines, snap the footings, steel benders for cutting and bending rebar, uh, scaffold planks to walk on, and the ICF bracing. Reinforcement steel, you're going to need to pre-organize that. I always joke about ladders. What tends to happen is we build the uh, build up in the face when we get excited about stacking block and then we realize we don't have a ladder to get back out of the building and somebody's got to crawl over the wall. Screws for bracing, concrete screws, lumber, plywood, and other types of bucking materials, wire ties, zip ties, sleeves for any protrusions through the walls for mechanical or electricals, you get OSB or plywood for cut joints, and you get your waterproofing and damp proofing systems. For concrete pour, you're going to need a concrete vibrator, uh, rubber gloves, more of the safety side of things, hard hats, finishing tools, and flat shovels. And then when it comes to actually working with the, the ICF, you're going to need a hot knife or electric chainsaws for cutting and, and grooving for electric wires. And then when you make mistakes with stuff with or with that, you can do spray foam gun and spray it with foam to fix up your uh, your issues.